morning, so we are in uh, Grab on the way to the War Museum. I'm gonna check that out, then we're probably gonna head to the market and see what bargains we can find. So it was quite intense. We'd already heard about it, but Jordan's dad also recommended it to us and he said to brace yourselves because it's quite intense, but we didn't think it would be as intense as it was. There was a few times where I think we both probably had tears in our eyes, but held it in because there were so many other people there. I mean, at one point there was a bloke who had been mutated by the gases um, playing the keyboard with no eyes, bless him. Yeah, so he was completely, Pretty he was completely blind. There was like another guy who only had the top half of his body and there was two ladies as well that had, that were suffering in, in some sort of way. But when you get to that part you can actually like buy a little souvenir which we did and it goes to, the money goes to them and their charity. But yeah it was really really intense but it is something that we would probably def definitely recommend mm. for you to do if you're here. It's an experience but just make sure you are ready to go in and see what is in there. I think at one point there was like a body, is, is that right, baby's body? Yeah, baby's body, like they'd put it in solution to keep it, to show that it'd been mutated. Yeah. <laughs> so it was quite intense, like, yeah. At the, at, towards the end I said to her, like, I'm, I'm ready to go now, like I don't really want to look around anymore. <laughs> to the market I was looking for some trainers and a little makeup bag it turns out that I didn't get any the trainers were quite expensive like 60 pound yeah, which ridiculous. is ridiculous but we were in a tourist trap market so yeah so I'm just gonna wait the right pair will come well we just looked around a little bit it was quite sweaty so we didn't stay for like ages and ages but it's definitely something again we recommend doing if you're in this area it's such an experience but then we've come back to the hotel we've just chilled a little bit now we've got ready we're gonna go out for some food and drinks just watch me
Don't you try to call me tomorrow There's nothing personal in having a little fun You wait to see if it's worth your while oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it tomorrow's all I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me Give me, so give me your all After all that craziness, we have arrived back at the hotel. So we stopped at a bar on the way back. We had quite, we had, had quite a few drinks at this point, um, and there was a guy that had a balloon. I'm guessing it was laughing at left and gas, but here it is. Legal. Legal, yeah. It was in England till not long ago. Like. Yeah, everybody was doing it. And then we didn't do it anyway. We came to this bar. There was a guy, he was American, and he had a balloon, which was laughing gas. Jordan was talking to him, you know, seeing what he was here for, blah, blah, blah. He took a lot of his balloon, like the whole balloon. The full balloon, yeah. The full balloon. And he actually started fitting. Yeah. Quite bad, like the stuff was coming out of his mouth. It was very, very bad. Like me and Jordan both sobered up, like we were going to keep on Like we've had quite a lot to drink. So for that to happen, wow. All I'm going to say is if you are abroad, anywhere abroad, not just Vietnam, anywhere, because it happened, Ibiza, Magdalena, anywhere, it happened anywhere, just be so careful. That guy was quite ill. Luckily he came round, and luckily we were there. And yeah, Jordan, was so he, glad. He recognised Jordan, he was yeah. so glad that Jordan was there. And he, you could see almost like the look of like, wow. Relief. Like, yeah, relief. Don't, because don't get me wrong, the bar stuff was spot on. Yeah. But he was so relieved that it was someone who could speak the same language. It's unreal. Yeah. Like, yeah. The relief. The bar stuff were lovely to him. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But obviously, because we could be like, you're alright, like, it's fine, you're gonna be alright, we're here. And we'd have sorted them out. Really like, yeah, yeah, really calmed them down. So we just wanna say that just be careful wherever you are in the world. If you try and stuff like that, then just be so, so careful. It just completely <laughs> blows off. We yeah, no. Ever, ever try that. Ended the night for us. I would never try it anyway, but we're gonna head back to the room now and get some sleep. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell for all of our notifications. We upload daily at 6 pm and you won't be disappointed. We have so, so much more travels to come. Uh, so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and giving us a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.